light levels are, or it's about 80% shade in here, so the camera wasn't adjusted to the light levels. Now we've got it, so as you can see, the fiber fruit system yeah. and the success rate we've had. Yeah, this is a lot better. getting misted. These are fresh cuttings. They were stuck um, two weeks ago. You can see the health in the cutting itself. All uniform, all green. And the spray pattern. What is the delay on it? Right now it's two minutes. Okay. We're right outside our um, rooting house right now. This is our holding area. And this is where we harden them off. And what we've got right here is a three and a half inch cell pack tray. And these cuttings here, like it says, mixed gish. This is when they were potted, 117. What we do is we'll take our one inch and we'll stick our one inch, usually two to a pot, into this three inch, three and a half inch. Half the one inch go into four inch pot for a finished product for this year. The other half goes stepped up into these three and a half inch, and they'll be next year six inch. So these were propagated in the winter time, which is the first time this year that we, we propagated in the winter. Now, as you can see, the vigor and the growth, and uh, the success rate again here, we had a very good winter propagation. What I'm going to do now is pull a couple of the plants up so you can see the root system. As you can see, we have a very fiber, very good fibrous root system. White roots, very healthy, no disease, no burn. Now this plant here will get clipped about right down here and it'll go over to the potting machine and we'll rejuvenate the stock. We'll keep our true stock and then we'll propagate these cuttings in about another month. Okay, we'll go for the potting machine now. here we're just showing the uh, the head size the vigorous nice green lush growth again the nice root system and they're hardened off also 
Okay, we're still in C-section. We're, we're in the old section, the first half. And we skipped a phase of production when, uh, from the potting machine when I showed you that finished plant. What we've got here is a couple of the plants that came off the potting machine, and they've been clipped. Now, in another month, I'll apply the growth regulator, which will stop these plants right at the head size that we want. And these have been clipped. And, you know, of course, they've been stepped up. See the new growth, and you can compare it here to a hardened off plant. These are younger than the plants that we just looked at. That's why you see a lighter color green. Very nice plants. And what we can do is just go right next door here right there and we've got some plants that are getting ready to go in the cooler and we got some that are blooming in the field right there we're at gish right now we're going to go to some dogwood and then we're going to go to some some vogels that we got some stock in from oregon they're they're helmet vogels they're ingus you ready yeah okay we're still next door in that bed and c section here's a dogwood you can see the root system And if you come right next door to there, you can see your ingas. And then right over here, we got some ingas that are blooming. We got some ingas that we got in some eight inch bulb pans. Archie's got an, an inga there that's, that's blooming out here in the field. Doesn't get any better than this. Let's get the nice one out. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Okay, we're over here at the end of section F and G, and what we've got here is red ruffle. These are finished plants. Uh, they're budded. They're they're going to be going in the cooler in a month. And after that, they'll be a month after that, and then we'll have blooming plants. These will be some of our first sales. Look at look at the color the sheen in the leaves, and the absolute uniformity. You've got 2,500 pots here in a bed, and, you know, they're all uniform. Archie's got one in his hand. Notice the head size. The tips, the number of buds, is what draws the top dollar. And he'll go ahead and pull it out, and you can ch check out the root system. When the plants get mature, the older leaves hit the sides of the pot and tend to turn brownish. You can look at the, the fibrous root system is, is continual. There's, there's literal, literally a thousand miles of root hairs in here. Notice the white. That's the younger ones emerging from the peat moss. If you take these brown and you just scratch it with your fingernail, you can pull out the outer protective layer of the root and you can see the white underneath there. That's showing you that, you know, the health is there, that this is no fungus, no root rot. It's just a natural occurring phenomenon with, within the plant. Get it? Yep. We're at A section now. Uh, since starting over, we, we've changed our entire production system. This used to be where we propagated. Now we grow on, and what you see here is various varieties, forest varieties, and 
and they're in a state of uh, very good health. You, you, they're smiling at you. Look at the look at the shine in the leaves. I'll pick a pot up here. There you go. Gish. This is the hardest variety to root. Look at the head size. These are for a little bit later on in the year. The uh, the bud set is not quite as 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 hard as the other plants. Let's see if I don't lose this tag. Let me pull up another one. Again, there's your root system. And you can go all the way down the bed. The uniformity's there, the vigor's there. This past week is just now starting to warm up. It's starting to almost hit 90 degrees. And it's almost June, which is very bizarre for Florida, yeah, especially Tampa. Ruskin, it's, it's very late in the year. Yes. Why don't you go down there and pick one out, Archie? Go ahead, Archie. As far as you can see, they're green all over. But right there is good. These are a different variety. This is dogwood. You got it? Yep. Go ahead, let me see the roots. Same age. Perfect. Okay. Okay, what we're going to do now is go into old bee plastic house. We have the plastic houses, they help us in the winter to force the plants so that they, the cooling, you know, we're, 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 we're working with Mother Nature and we're, we're forcing them. So we'll heat these houses in the winter, okay? Okay, right. okay here we are in old bee plastic house. We have various stages of production here. You see these prize right here have been clipped. Which, which will put them, you know, the next six months they'll be sold. After the clip, you've got six months. That's for, this is for spring. On the other side of the house is we've got some of those old liners that we let grow up. We let them grow up some and stretch so that we could get good cuttings from them. These are pure Yeah. We'll, we'll step them into the six inch later on this year. Yeah. We've got some red ruffle over here that, that either we'll grow these for the nurseries versus your florists, or we'll clip them, take the cuttings, and, and plan them for florists. But it looks like we're going to keep these for nursery right here. The difference is the head size, and of course, they're a cheaper plant. The quality is there, the vigor is there. It's, less labor intensive. You save yourself this clip right here. And six months of growing time, which, you know, in your fertilizer, you know, your time of production, your cost are lower. Still a very nice plant. And you can see the root system again. Okay. Okay. What we're going to do here is just take a look at some 8 inch. You must have a hundred buds there. These plants are going to be gorgeous. We don't generally service an 8 inch market. We were forced into it. We needed cuttings and uh, to rejuvenate our stock. So we have bigger plants. The quality is unbelievable. You know, these are top dress. Yes, this is one single plant here. I'm going to try to pull this out so you can see the root system. She isn't all the way rooted yet, which is good. It's got a lot of room to grow. We still got another couple months before we're selling. And the uniformity is incredible. What you've got here is mixed beds. That's why your sizes are different because the varieties are different. Some grow differently than others. And in the middle there, you've got uh, some red ruffle that were clipped. Talking about the number of buds, so you'll get an idea. The head size, the number of buds, this is what it's all about. Uniformity, absolute uniformity, working with nature.